2005 Lucas and Royal Cabernet Franc. Uh, this comes from our vineyard here in Solvang. Actually, it's in my yard. And uh, Cabernet Franc is a Bordeaux variety, which means it uh, originates from Bordeaux, of France. Lots of flavor, intense. And um, this ranch, this particular ranch, Valley View, is really good because it's a southern slope and we get uh, maximum sun and we get the grapes ripe. Mm. And it's so important with red wine to get the grapes ripe, especially the skins ripe. Mm -hmm. Because most red grapes have white juice, so all the color and all the enzymes come from the skins. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Mm -hmm. Petit Verdot. Again, as we said previously when we were talking about Cabernet Franc, uh, Petit Verdot is one of the five varieties of Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. And traditionally in Bordeaux, it's not made separately. Mm -hmm. It's used to blend with Cabernet, and usually up around 5%. And it adds, uh, adds a little bit of tannin, a little bit of flavor, and adds great color, mm -hmm. and helps intensify uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> Petit Syrah, a grape known for great color. In fact, the color is so good, sometimes a little of this Petit Syrah sneaks into the uh, Pinot Noir or a few other varieties. Um, this particular Petit Syrah comes off a 27-year-old vineyard we have. So they're well-established vines. They limit them to about three tons to the acre. And there's about four acres of vines. And, uh, we have to be very careful with this variety. It's very susceptible to rain damage. So if it gets rained on, count one, two, three, and pick. Otherwise, it spoils. And uh, it's one of the hindrances of this variety. It really, uh, it really will self-destruct if it gets rained on during harvest. So uh, we, we don't watch it closely. And that's another reason for going with a lesser, a little lesser in crop so we get it right. But uh, it um, it does very well. It grows in our ranch in Los Alamos, which is right down the road between Santa Maria and, and uh, Yulton. And it's a cooler climate there. And uh, uh, of course, all of our grapes are picked by hand. Green by hand, you know, it's very selective. Uh, but this uh, this would go great with prime rib, which I had for lunch today. Oh, you did? Oh, wow. How many tons per acre? Three tons. Three mm -hmm. tons per acre. Mm -hmm. And that's that's I wouldn't say that's not, that's not that's a little less than an average crop mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, our thing here is to get it ripe and get it ripe sooner. And sometimes we even go through in the bigger clusters. The bigger clusters take longer time to mature. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if the crop is pretty good, we'll go through and knock the big crop clusters off, or we'll cut them in half. Oh, oh, wow. We'll cut them in half. Because the smaller cluster ripens, ripens sooner. Mm -hmm. And so, and the fact that this is susceptible to rain, right. we, we, we do everything to enhance it, yes. to keep to move it forward. Right, right, right. And, uh, and the fact that the vines are older, uh, I think it's really settled down. It's consistent. Mm -hmm. It's been nice for us each year, mm -hmm. and it's another wine where we're up on our vintages. It's right where it needs to be. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, really like Very it. nice. Mm -hmm.